Welcome, potential hires. We're thrilled you applied for this exciting employment opportunity. If you haven't guessed, I'm the boss around here, but I like to think of myself more as a buddy. A boss buddy. Water? Someone will get that. I can tell you're all great candidates. Unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of you and only one job. It's incredibly stressful for me. That's why I developed a revolutionary new hiring process. I'm going to interview you all at once and force you to judge each other. Oof, I feel more relaxed already. Deborah, clear my calendar. It's time to get to know our candidates. My first rule of management, make sure employees feel prepared. So prepare yourself for some questions happening right now. Let's go. I'm gonna send some icebreaker questions to your device. Answer them any way you want. There are no rules, except this one rule. You gotta use at least five words, okay? Oversharing leads to overcaring. It's my first rule of management. I'll just file these. <laughs> now that we're pals, I'm sending some tough but fair interview questions to your device. But instead of typing your responses, you'll be using words from your fellow interviewees to answer the questions. Genius, right? Tap any word you see to add it to your response. If you make a mistake, tap the word again to remove it. 
You can also drag words around to rearrange them. Can't find the right words for what you want to say? Then say something different, pal, because that's all you're getting. The first rule of management is limitations foster creativity. through the timer. Time's running out. Here we go. What really pushes your buttons? As the boss, I've got to be decisive. So I'm decisiving that you guys should pick. Go ahead and vote already. Oh. I see you rated the question for some extra words. You can use almost any text on your device in your answers. On a daily basis, how do you hope to empower your coworkers? How would your colleagues describe you? No votes? Well, that's boring. Next time, use your device to pick your favorite. Great work. That's what I'll be saying every day to the one of you who gets the job. Let's see who the front runner is. The biggest number is the best, if you ask me. Anyway, let's try a couple more icebreakers. Okay, you know the routine. Write whatever you want and don't be afraid to get descriptive. Paint me a word picture, dang it. Stevens, I need you to call security ASAP. The creepiest looking guy I've ever seen just walked by and... Oh, that's your new haircut. Take the rest of the day off and fix it.
don't want to run out of time. I like what I'm seeing. <laughs> Round two of questioning. This time, I want to know how you would handle some tough workplace scenarios. Remember, you can use any word you see on your device in your answer. Try grabbing a word from the question itself. I bet whoever came up with this is pretty cool. It was me. Okay, let's see him. Ah, fiddlesticks, your pen's out of ink. What do you do? Vote for your favorite now. This round, winning answers boost your score even more. Time for a new email signature. What inspirational phrase is going under your name? a little haunted. Do you know how to get rid of ghosts? A good manager knows that people are more than just numbers. Still, the numbers are the main thing, so let's see them. Legally, I have to tell you that none of this is binding until a contract is in place, blah, blah, blah. Let's do one more icebreaker. Don't overthink it. Just put down whatever enters your mind. Unless you're thinking about polka music, the workplace is no place for polka. is your orientation, by the way. Okay, it's the final round and it appears we're missing something. Your resume is probably my fault. I can't stop making confetti. But you know what? I don't need resumes. 
just finished the personal statement that's already started on your device. No pressure, but this is your last chance and there's a lot riding on it. got here. Vote on your devices now. Proved a generous bonus to your score. All done. Honestly, I could see myself sharing a cup of toner in the break room with any of you, but we gotta pick one. The job goes to... Congratulations, you're our new Chief Strategy Polisher. Welcome to the team. Oh, and Michael, you're fired. Oh, no.
You have traveled to this sacred mountaintop, seeking answers from the all-knowing wheel of enormous proportions. You may now ask the wheel any one question that torments your very soul. Should you be chosen, your longing for truth will be satisfied, and your life forever changed. If you do not submit a question, one will be provided for you. Wonderful. The Great Wheel awaits you now. You play my trivia game, and I give you the answers to life, the universe, and everything? Sounds like a good deal if I say so myself. You're gonna take turns spinning me. And you get points if I land on your slice. Earn 20,000 points, and you'll be able to spin the winner wheel. But not just anyone can spin me. You have to prove yourself first. You have the chance to win points with these two slices. But your odds are better when you have more. So let's earn some by doing a little trivia, starting right now. To start things off, which items are mentioned in the song, My Favorite Things? Just tap on the ones that fit the prompt. Your tapping finger only has time to tap a few... Time! And what were the correct answers? I'm curious, what did you say? Whoa! -ho -ho! You two are a sight to behold! This calls for a slice. And you who did the best this round. One more slice. Mm. Question two, anyone? Which of these men held the rank of General of the Army of the United States? Some answers are more tappable than others, am I right? Your tap. Done. Here's what I was looking for. Does everything line up? I don't believe it. For you. Another one. This round wouldn't be complete without a question three. I'm gonna give you a series of clues to help you answer this question. Aside from being all-seeing and all-knowing, what physical sense do I most identify with? Start guessing. Look, I enjoy a chocolate mousse cake sacrifice as much as the next god, but it's not my sense of taste, and it's not touch either. I tried to stop and smell the roses once, but turns out I have no nostrils.
I'm a big music fan, but hearing isn't my strongest sense. I'll tell you right now, it's not one of the traditional five senses. Or seeing dead people, which of course I can, but frankly, that's kind of boring to me. All right, look, I'm a wheel. To spin without wobbling, I need things to be imperfect. Yeah, that was my last clue and kind of a giveaway. Come on. The fastest times are worth more. My decision is you. What amazing thing is this? Power slice. Maybe you've heard of the power slice. It gives you the power to spin me. And the time for spinning, it's now. So glad you joined me up here with all those slices that can be spun and turned into points. Choose the slots on my face to socket your slices. But watch out. You split the points with everyone that shares a slot with you. The slot with the two and the X, that one's worth double. Unless everyone shares it, then it won't end up worth so much, am I right? My face is craving your slices, come on! You're gonna take turns spinning me. And I've decided that you will go first. Swipe the wheel. This slice gives you points. That's fun. The power slice multiplies until someone lands on it. I'm ready for a new spinner. There you go. You're up. The time to spin me is running out. Cowabunga, like a turtle. Some much needed points. Your spins have filled up my spin meter, which can only mean it's time for the last spin of the round. I had a feeling you'd be our last spinner. All right, not bad. What do I have behind me? Look at that, it's the scoreboard. You need at least 20,000 points to win. So let's, uh, let's, uh, you know, let's, let's get you some more points, okay? When a round begins, I hand out slices. I've lined up some questions, starting with this one. Which nations were among the founding members of NATO in 1949? NATO stands for the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. I know you knew that, sorry. The answers that fit are calling to you. They're saying, tap me, I'm correct. What are your hobbies? Glad you asked. In my spare time, I like to squish people. I just kind of fall from the sky and land on them and they squish. It's fun. Only a few... If I had a friend named Nate, I'd call him Nato. That'd be fun. How about that? Slices! An extra slice it is. 
question one is nothing compared to question two. This one ought to stump you. Which legendary icon makes me feel the tiniest bit insecure? Oh, I can't believe I said that out loud. This individual is sort of a big deal in Canada and the US. No, it's not Celine Dion. Let's just get that out of the way. Really loves plaid flannel shirts for some reason. Oh God, can you even imagine Celine Dion in plaid? Never mind, don't. It's not her. Would be a terrible mascot for tree conservationists. Legend has it that this figure was 63 axe handles tall. It totally eliminates Celine Dion. She's not even four axe handles tall. This dude was a humongous lumberjack with a giant blue ox as his pet. I'm out of clue, so this is your last chance to answer. So allegedly, he created the Grand Canyon by dragging his axe behind him as he walked. whoop de doo I can see the future! <laughs> Lumberjack of enormous proportions. Who wants to play that game? Nobody. Ugh, everyone spaced on this one? Not great. No answers? Well, no slices. Thank you very much. Question three and a power slice go hand in hand. You're gonna pair things off based on this prompt. Match the month to the birthstone. You'll see two columns that you can slide up and down. Tap an item in column A, then tap its match in column B. Column A to column B is ending. So, what matched after all? It must be you. Ooh, that's a spicy power slice. Power slice. Okay, on to the summit where you'll spin me already. I see you made it up the mountain. That means my bear traps are poorly hidden. Here's a tip from wheel to meeple. You can tap a slot more than once to add a multiplier. Isn't that a pleasant surprise? Look, I'm gonna spin with or without your slices, so let's go already. The first spin of the round goes to you. I can't hold this spin much longer. Okay, why not? Hey, how about a spin from a new spinner? I'm slowly reducing in speed. Well, okay. You ready for a new spinner? Cause I sure am. All right, yeah. You ready, new spinner? Well, if you don't spin me, I'll just rotate on my own. It's a pod share!
There's only one spin left? I smell burnt toast. The last spin is all in your tiny meeple hands. I'm almost stopped. Now! Uh. Hey, that's something. Points don't really mean anything, but let's just see who has the most for conversation. I can't believe how close this one is. Imagine having two slices, then stop imagining because here they are. Pow! I'd like to start with question one. How about you? Match the Star Trek actor to the character they played. I want to see everything match. Go! Such a harmonious set of answers. You now have all the required points. The next spin that gives you points can win you the game. Question two, incoming. Albert Einstein whiffed this question, but I'm sure you won't. Which animals are from Africa? When you see an answer that fits the prompt, give it a little tap. That's what I would do. better hustle. Time is precious, am I right? Okay, now here's what we were looking for. I see two hero meeples shining brighter than the sun. Question three? Oh, that's right, the power slice question. You'll be typing your answers for this one. Name the professional sports teams of New York City. I'm just looking for the nicknames here. I already got the New York part. There are 11 correct answers. Try to type them all in before time runs out. You can see these ladies play soccer, or you can see David Blaine doing this over Times Square. If you're just starting out as an acrobat, you probably want one of these. Typing time is running out! This is what you had to type. Technically, it's a tie, but uh, only one of you had your heart in it. Oh you! It was always you! Chew on a power slice. Power slice! With the power slice in hand, the meeples brave the summit. Welcome to the mountaintop, giant snake free since 1673. Oh, I'm overdue for a makeover. Could you apply some slice foundation? Be generous.
Time is ticking away. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Why don't you start things off? What a good thing for you. With that point total, you can finally spin the winner wheel. You're gonna spin me, and if I land on you, you win. But land on one of the skulls, and we still have a game to play. This could be the very last spin of the game. We're not through yet, little ones. It's not too late for you, next spinner. Show me what you're made of. Two times the points, but spread thin. Bonanza! This could be the winning spin. I'm reducing the speed. It's... As promised, I will now answer the question that you've always struggled with. Go ahead and spin me one last time.
Welcome. This is dot 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 Drawful Animate. If you always wanted to be an artist, here's your chance to show everyone why it didn't work out. Buckle up. It's time for two rounds of animated fun. On your marks, get set, draw. On your device, you'll see your secret prompt. It might be pretty weird, like humid bones or angel in the outhouse. Draw an animation on your device that fits the title. When you've finished, hit submit. The more players that guess your correct title, the more points you'll get. You're smart, you got it. It's never too late to join the audience. Go to jackbox.tv and enter the room code. Halfway point, start thinking about that second frame. And dreaming of a better life. You gotta do it for your kids. <laughs> the animations are in! Some of them are very bad. Let's take a look. Try to trick your friends by writing a really delicious title for this animation on your device. Here they all are. Which title do you think is quote unquote correct? Behold the results. Dash off a title. Oh. 
be dramatic, but you need to submit something soon or the game is ruined. Well, this is what the group came up with. Let's check out the results. It's a disaster. It's a masterpiece. It's a disaster piece. Patent pending. Here are your choices. Yo, you gotta pick something. Let's see what people picked. Time to type some titles. Write something down. <laughs> Time to dot 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 vote exclamation point. Now, please. 
I can't wait to see what happened. Fresh batch of titles are being delivered to your device. gently suggest that you move on to the second frame. complete. Let's see what we've got. Write a title or tight a writal. I don't know. what we've got. Who got duped? Oh, ouch. 
Ouch. Ooh, this one is perfect. Your collective effort. Come on, pick something. Boy, I am psyched for these reveals. Love the first frame. Not crazy about the second. Tired, but I promise this is worth it. <laughs> what a spread, yum. Okay, time to vote. Okay, who picked what? You've reached the final animation.
like, look at all these forgeries. Pick the real deal. one or a funny one or any one. Okay, I'm actually curious how this one turned out. And yes, we put that typo in there to annoy you, Alan. You need to loosen up.
Welcome to Doodle Valley, home of the world's biggest unused parking lot. Thank you all for volunteering or feeling socially obligated to participate in our town beautification initiative. Remember, we're still looking for audience members to join in and cast their votes. The mayor wants to turn all the plain old everyday walls in the town into inspiring works of community art. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? That's right, Louise. That's not my name, sir. And I know just where to start. Right here. As you can see, this masterpiece has already started. Mrs. Palmer's boy Leroy started drawing this, but he got distracted by a weird dog before he could finish. How can you not finish something you start, you know? It's like you start it and then you... We believe in a little thing called democracy around here. So I'll let two of you make additions to the drawing and your fellow volunteers will vote on who made it better. Oh, and I'm keeping you on a short timer to make sure you don't overthink it. Okay, volunteers, ready, still ready, and ready. I mean, go. While our artists work, the rest of you can express your feelings about each drawing with the buttons on your device. One of them is poop. Very strong candidates. It's up to the voters to pick a winner. Come on, vote, why don't ya? Moment of truth. The polls are closed. <laughs> 
Not so fast, Clementine. Each match, I'll choose a different emoticon, and I'll give out a bonus to the drawing that earned the most of them. This time, the bonus goes to the drawing with the most laughing fellas. Ha <laughs> ha! Wonderful. Now you two get to add something. Let's keep the civic pride rolling. Go. up those votes. This time, the bonus goes to the most confusing drawing, which to me is all of them. Fantastic. Now let's see what you two can add. Go. Here we go. Next up, go. time.
Next on deck, go. Time to vote! Stop everything. I think this piece is finished. Now it just needs a title. Use your devices to suggest one. Find the title that speaks to you and vote. I demand a recount. Now, now, Belinda. As mayor, I get to break all the ties. How about I pick this one? Okay, time for the big unveiling. I can't wait! Oh, that's more... striking than I expected. Holy mac! is in need of a little surprise beauty. Right, no wait, right here. I think we're really gonna change some lives with this one. Go. Running out, finish up quick. Vote away.
Let's count those votes. Next up, go. It's voting time. Let's see how that shook out. Up next. Time to vote. up those votes and the audience <laughs> up next go Here we go. Toss those audience votes in. Next on deck. Go.
to vote. Okay, count them up. What did the audience think? Uh, yeah, I think we're ready for a title. Now vote for your favorite. Add in the audience. A tie, huh? I pick this one. Let's admire our work, shall we? <laughs> ah, I love it. I'm just at a loss for words. That's something. next on the agenda, sir. Oh, I got a special treat for our budding artist, Mildred. That's not... <sighs> Fine. What is it? You're all so talented. I want to commission you to do a portrait to hang right in town hall. Ooh. Everybody brace yourselves, because you're all drawing at once this time. I want to fill the town hall with portraits of our fine citizens. And just flip through the old Doodle Valley phone book. There you go, a fine subject for our portrait. Okay, but how are we supposed to know what they look like? Ah, you remember, they worked over at Pep's place. You know, where he sold the sundries and lotions and all the kind of... I'm not totally sure what he's getting at, but let's just start by drawing some eyes. Any eyes you want. Throw my yo-yo around and dress the young ladies. These days, that doesn't matter. I get tangled a lot, too. options here, but let's vote on which is best.
plus the audience. Next, let's all do the nose. and vote. And now the mouth. Another time, I'm gonna pick this one. Finally, finish this off in any way you want. I trust you all implicitly. Last vote. Let's cherish this.
for the reveal. Remember, you all did this together. It's like looking at a photograph. You all have taught me that, just like politics, art is about working together to make things better for everyone. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. It's all about winning! Civic Doodle, Civic Doodle, just find a blank wall cause we're gonna have a ball once you start to play this game. Civic Doodle, creepy Soodle, but I'm Diana Vest cause you gotta look your best if you're gonna doodle with me. Oh, come to Doodle Valley, it's a play. Show no restraint And try to draw a better thing Than the other person who's doodling it Right next to you Welcome to Fibbage. I'm Cookie, and I love all of you equally. Don't ask for details. The old five-player game. A classic that still holds up today. And anybody watching can join the audience anytime. Audience members get to guess the truth and pick decoy lies to fool the players. Let's play. This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool, and you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Give me a category. Let me help with that. Okay, here's your first question. 
In 2005, a statue was erected in Edinburgh to honor Sir Niels Olav, the first member of the Norwegian King's Guard to also be blank. Now, enter a bluff on your device that sounds real enough to fool the other players. If you can't come up with something, use the lie for me button and get a suggestion for half the points. Do it. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. All right, now find the truth and select it on your device. And what did people pick? His successor, Sir Niels Olav III, was promoted to Brigadier. Take that, Dad. Time to pick a category. And the question is... Neil Armstrong once threatened to sue a man if he didn't return the astronauts blank. Enter your lies now. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. All right, where's the truth? All right, let's see what you guys picked. Well, so much for that one. 
Armstrong's barber sold his hair clippings without permission for $3,000, which probably means this moon hair I bought for 10 grand is fake. Select the category. Yeah, that was difficult. Let me do it for you. Okay, here's your question. Finland's military is unique in that they provide their troops with mobile blank. All right, type in your lies. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, which one is the truth? All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> Would you believe... I blame the sauna industrial complex. Hey look, it's round two! Strap in, because all the points are double. Now listen up. During the time it was open, Alcatraz was the only federal prison that had blank. Write your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> nice fibbing. <laughs> that was before somebody hogged all the hot water. I'm talking to you, C Block. Okay, you can look at this, but don't touch. It's time to look at this. 
This item from 16th century Germany may look weird until you realize it's just blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, look for the truth and pick it. I love this part. I wear something like this, but it's to protect others from my armpits. All right, choose a category. Sorry to challenge you, I'll just pick this one. Try this one. The Altoona Curve, a minor league baseball team, held a really odd promotional night for fans in 2016. Their players wore jerseys with pictures of blank on them. Okay, enter your lies. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see how things shook out. This is the final fibbage. One question left for triple the points. Good luck. In 2014, Dr. Stephen Long of Marquette University coined the term rhotic replacement. You may have this disorder if you blank like blank. Enter your lies now.
Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Who picked what? <laughs> the only known treatment is a ruby rack.
three, two, one. These names seem familiar. Oh, hey, didn't we meet in that chat room about ferret breeding? Don't forget you can join the audience at any time. If enough people do it, maybe we can break the internet. You guys can trust me. I'm a stranger on the internet. <laughs> Hey there, my name is Todd, and I'm going to ask you one last time. Please stop making memes with my senior picture. Here's a quick but skippable tutorial. Hey guys, what's up? It's Party Boy 7 here to teach you how to play Survive the Internet. So in each round, you'll get a prompt on your device. Go ahead and answer it. Those responses will then be sent to another player. The objective is to twist these words in the most ridiculous way possible. So if my friend Paul said selfie sticks are quote, super dumb, then I would take him out of context. Say we're on a news site. Their super dumb would be an outrageous comment to what headline? Oh, I got it. Everybody then votes on whose comment looks the most absurd. I get rewarded for writing the twist and Paul gets some pity points for looking foolish. The person with the most points at the end of the game wins. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please. I feel so empty inside. Let's start things off at a check-in site. So you should be seeing a prompt on your controller. There are no wrong answers, so just answer honestly. Another player's comment has been sent to your device. Twist their words in the funniest way possible. Well, here goes nothing. Vote for the comment you think looks the worst in this context. I mean, I know who I'd vote for, but it's up to you. And here are the results. Here's who twisted your words. They get some points. And you, the victim, get some pity points. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Who should I be the most proud of? Let's find out. Great. Now let's go to a video site. You're getting another prompt. Go ahead and be candid. This is our safe space.
hope this inspires you. Take this quote out of context so it makes its author look ridiculous. Ready or not, here we go. Vote for the comment you think looks the most absurd. Let's see how everybody voted. Good grief! <laughs> Let's see what that round did to things. Let's keep this party train moving and go to a... e-commerce site. Another prompt is headed your way. Now please get to it. Okay, get those creative juices flowing. Okay, you knuckleheads. Here we go. Do your civic duty and vote now. Let's see who got the points. Let's check out the scoreboard, shall we? And our last stop of the game will be at a photo sharing site. And points are worth double this round.
Okay, I hope you have one last opinion in you. It's time to take the gloves off. Really go for it this time. Oh boy, I can hardly contain my excitement. Okay, go ahead and cast those ballots. Here's what people think. You got spanked. <laughs> Whoa, buddy, it all comes down to this. Congrats, you won. Now here's your prize.